All right, what's going on guys? Back at it again. I've got another project here that I haven't, I haven't shared with you. I've, I've, I've shared it on uh, Instagram, but not on YouTube. Uh, I've been absent for two years, but this is it right here. We'll turn the camera around in just a second. 81 Chevy three quarter ton. It's the K20. It is a flatbed. So this one's, I, I'm kind of in love with this truck. It's just right. It's got just the right amount of kind of crustiness to it and it kind of smells right too on the inside but it needs some work uh let me flip the camera around and we'll do kind of more of a tour of it so she is a flatbed truck somebody welded the it's actually the the flatbed's actually welded to the frame it's kind of rough we will do i'll do a kind of a full walk around video of this but i'm going to get started on doing some brakes on the rear uh it's a 350 truck she's a four speed Four speed truck, MP208 transfer case. Kind of rough on the inside, but not bad. I do believe it was an original AC cab. Door panels are decent. Dome light works. I think somebody mistook the Blake bleeder screws for grease zerks. And the rear brakes are actually not working at all. And I think because they're full of grease. Uh, we're gonna find out, I'm gonna do the uh, wheel cylinders, hardware kit, we'll put some shoes on it and everything like that. It needs it. The rear end was full of water. Uh, you can find some very short clips uh, of that on my Instagram feed. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Let's get the wheels and tires off, find out exactly which brakes we have because there's two different sets for this truck and hit the parts store and Get the work done. I measured out the shoes and now I can get the right size parts. There's still quite a bit of material left on the shoes, but they have this really strange, odd wear pattern here. You can almost see the little dip there it's all the way around it is in the drum there's a ridge there so the drums will need to be turned I was kind of predicting that uh, but otherwise the brakes I mean they're they're all there they're all intact feels like the wheel bearings are okay there's not any play and the wheel bearings don't appear to be leaking so I'm not sure where all this there, there's some scummy kind of wet stuff here. It's not just dried uh, brake dust. So I'm thinking the wheel cylinders just went bad.
well, we got it finished up. I really hope the video's not too shaky. This truck's a four speed, so I had to mount it to the windshield on the suction cup, and, and she rides like crap anyway. I believe I mentioned at the start of the video that I was going to address the rear leaf springs. I didn't get to do that. Uh, I just ran out of time. This was this brake job and wheel bearing was multiple weekends. Um, to be honest with you, if I had to do it over again, I think I would just buy a kit, uh, a disc brake kit. Just do an aftermarket disc brake kit. Uh, for what I have into this brake job, I'm close to that price. Now, I would get the one that has the, uh, the old Eldorado uh, brake calipers that have the built-in parking brake. Those are a little bit more expensive, but at, at that price point, I'm just adding up about, it's an additional $200, okay? So, it was, what the problem was, was the brake drums. The one brake drum was just garbage. The, the shoes were loose in it, and it caused the brake drum uh, to get a very odd wear pattern, which I believe I showed you. The, um, sorry, it's a school zone here. I was able to get one drum turned. The other one, like I said, was garbage, and I had to find a new one. Well, there's multiple different, there's multiple drums for this truck for the brake package, and it turns out I've got the most oddball brake drums that they made, which are very expensive and actually fairly hard to find. I was able to find one locally, but it took a while, and it really what it was was me trying to figure it out, and do I wanna just send back the parts that I already ordered uh, and go for the disc brake kit, or do I want to keep going with rebuilding the drums and just be done with it? And as you saw from the footage, that's what I decided to do. And I, I'm really not, I, I'm not upset about it. I saved 200 bucks. I'm probably never gonna have to do drums on this truck again, do brakes on this truck again, at least the rear brakes. So in the end, I'm happy with the work that I did. The brakes are better, the wheel bearings are better, the truck, it, it stops better, it rolls better. Um, I, I'm perfectly happy with that, with that nine and a half inch 14 bolt that's in the truck. Uh, I, I have no intentions of taking this truck to do any sort of hardcore wheeling and uh, or put 40 inch tires on it. I'll probably, if anything, I'll just put 35s on it. I got to get rid of these damn mud tires. They're making me absolutely nuts. They're worn out. They, they're, they vibrate. They're just terrible. So that may be coming in the near future. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll throw up another video as soon as I can, probably on the... Uh, back on the the one ton the k30 chassis cab and that's it so again thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video